All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. So today we are doing a solo skiff rigging video. So I've gotten a lot of questions about my setup. So here it is. Um, I've gotten a lot of information off the Facebook group page and um, YouTube. So I put my own little spin on things to rig it up to what works best for me. So I hope this helps y'all out if you have one or if you're interested in getting in one. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, I'll do a pros and cons videos later, but We'll do this rigging video and yeah, so we're gonna start at the front of the boat and let's get into it. All right guys, so we're gonna start at the very, very front of the boat. So up front, I got this Rogue Blazer navigation light with the mount, um, it's red and green. And yeah, so we can be legal when we're running um, in the dark. Um, I have it where like the cutout for the hatch is because it's easier for me to reach. And if I ever do put a hatch on, then no big deal. I can just move it up to the very very top, but for right now I can reach it no problem, um, turning it on and off. Um, if it was at the very top, it'd be a little more difficult to reach, but still be doable. Um, next, I got my net here. I just, it's just loose. I just have it set with the bungees. So I know some of y'all said I need a net <laughs> in one of my videos and finally started bringing a net. Um, up here at the front, we got these two nine inch Yak Attack uh, Mighty Mounts and they fit perfect right here. So they look really nice. Um, they're flush, clean. Um, whenever I want to fly fish, I can just take off my GoPro mount, which is the next thing. Um, so just take that off and have a clean front, front deck for fly fishing. Um, next up front is these native like paddle um, holders and they fit this stiffy push pole perfect. So this is a 12 foot stiffy push pole. I got off Facebook marketplace for like 60 bucks. So I got a really good deal. And I got these like bungee these rubber, um, just like twist ties on here for transporting and stuff. So that works really good. So for the front, I don't really have um, anything in here, just the one inch drain plug. Um, while I'm out, I'll put drinks in here and put ice. And then after I'm done fishing, I'll take my drinks out and put my fish in here. So yeah, it's a pretty good system, um, works pretty good. So that's it for the front. Um, let's go to the middle of the boat. All right guys, so this is the middle of the skiff right here and uh, the main thing is the Hobie eight trails. So I have, I believe they're 24 inch um, Hobie eight trails on each side. They're really, really nice. And like the main um, reason I got them is for the accessories they offer with them and stuff. So I got the paddle holders right here. I got two paddle holders that hold my paddle. Um, keeps it locked in and secure really, really well. I um, don't have to worry about that. Then I got this mini tackle bin and this mini tackle bin is awesome, dude. I love it. Um, put my pliers here, got a retractable rope built in. Um, so that works out great. Put my boga grips on here. Then I put my, um, stringer here. So I have a Lone Star Guide, um, stringer clip. That clip is really clutch. Um, just clips right in. Um, stringer goes in there and yeah, it's really nice, really easy to use. So check that out if you uh, haven't seen it. Um, and then next I have a, um, stakeout pole, um, just bungee down to it, um, with these, um, little um, straps. So a uh, six foot stakeout pole, really, really nice for when I'm in the marsh. If I ever come across some fish, I can just stake out down really quick. And yeah, um, I also keep my fly rod on the, in the rod tubes. Um, so it gets a little wet, but it's all good. Um, that's it for the uh, middle of the boat. Um, also one thing, hold on. So one of the first mistakes, well not mistakes, but one of the first like obstacles I had was I bought this um, this bigger tackle bin, Hobie tackle bin, and it didn't fit with the placement of my H rails. So um, placement's kind of important. Like I guess buy the accessories first that you're gonna put on it, and then put the H rails on. So I tried to put this on there, and it was crooked. It was kind of sideways. As you can see, if it go on, it, it'd be sideways, and it just didn't look good. Didn't look right. It's kind of big anyway, so. I'm kind of glad the, it didn't work and I went with the mini tackle bin. So yeah, so that's one of the little obstacles I had. Just thought I'd let you all know. And let's go to the back of the boat. All right, guys, so here's the uh, back of the skiff. So um, first off, um, we'll start off with the track mount. So I got two six inch Yak Attack uh, Mighty Mount um, tracks. They're mounted horizontally. Um, I like the placement of them um, like that. I can put two rod holders side by side. 
So on the other side, I have a rod holder and the native um, paddle lock for the stiffy um, push pull. And yeah, the um, rod holders I have are Scotty. So we have Scotty um, rod holders on our boats. So, and we had some extras, so just decided to go with Scotty. Um, I have extensions on two of them to kind of raise them up a little bit, keep them from getting wet. Um, honestly, does not help. They're gonna get wet no matter what. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so anyways, next we got the, uh, my gas can. I have a 1.25 gallon gas can there. Um, I just hold it down on some Romex. Dad's an electrician, so we got a bunch of Romex everywhere. But um, yeah, so that stays there pretty secure. And then I got my backpack here on the back with all my camera gear and stuff. So this waterproof backpack is really, really nice. It's not submersible, but you, you do get a lot of water back here, especially when you reverse. So you need something that's gonna keep your stuff dry and this dry bag works really, really well. So last but not least, we got the motor and the motor is a six horsepower Suzuki. It's awesome, runs great, haven't had any problems with it. Um, I put the Rail Blazer 360 light on top of the motor and that works really, really well. It's really stable, really sturdy. Um, haven't had any problems there. So I did run into another problem. So I had a, um, I had that 360 nav light on the very, very back right here. Um, and I had the like the flag, the Railblazer like light kit or whatever with the flag and the light and stuff. And honestly, if you have the skiff, I would not recommend getting that. Um, it's made mainly for kayaks. So, I mean, you're like, with how big the flag is, it wobbles around a lot. And one day I was out in some chopping stuff and when I got back to the launch, my light was gone. Like it just fell off. So I do not recommend getting that flag and that light kit. It's like hundred bucks, kind of sucks, but I think like $89. But yeah, they're made more for kayaks, you know, like going three to five miles an hour, maybe this thing, we're going 15, you know, so it's a big, big difference. And when you get in some chopping stuff and that, that's the, that thing is really, really bouncing around in the back. So, so that's, I, I guess, another rigging issue I came across. So we just changed it up and put the light on the outboard and it's working like a champ. Haven't had any problems with it. So that's everything on the top of the skiff. So now let's go check out the hatch. All right, guys, so here is the hatch. Um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff in here. Um, pretty, pretty good amount of stuff. And there's some really like specific things that you need or that I have that if you want, you need to get like the exact um, model of these boxes and stuff. And it's pretty cool. Um, works out really, really well. So let's check it out. So first, uh, as you can see on the top, I put these foam strips there and put my flies there. So pretty cool, like a little convenient place to put my flies and stuff. Um, I saw that on this um, website link, this blog post, and I'll link it below. Um, it's really, really good, really, really helpful. All right, so inside, as you can see, I have this um, small container. I don't even know what the dimensions are on that one and stuff. It just fits there, um, perfect. Got my anchor, um, drift sock, uh, extra rod holder, just a bunch of like little other random stuff. Um, and then I, I put my um, life jacket in there and also my um, Plano box. My Plano box goes in there. So um, that's everything you can see um, when you open it up. But we got some more goodies in there. So let's take this stuff out and we'll, I'll show you the other stuff. All right, so hidden in the back, um, in this little nook in the back, I got this um, like first aid kit where I keep a bunch of stuff. I got this Plano box back there and it fits perfect as you can see. Fits really, really nice. So let's pull that out. Um, so that fits in the very back. Um, it's a 14, 14 inch length by 14 and 3 eighths width by three and a quarter height. So we'll open this up, show you what I got in here. I got some rags. This is emergency stuff, just like safety. Gloves, rope, got flare, a horn, some rags, sunscreen, rope, little mini first aid kit, a whistle, and off. And then got a pack of down south purple rain in here just in case. You never know, dude, like for emergencies, if I ever run out, you know, we need a 
we need that purple rain because as y'all know that's like all I throw 90% of the time so um, that's my little first aid kit so now on the other side I have these two other um, these two other um, I think Sterlite boxes and they fit perfect here so check this out they fit like a, like a glove they fit like a glove so the dimension of these Sterlite um, boxes are 11 inches long by 6 and 5 eighths wide by 2 and 3 quarter height so I got these off Amazon for like five bucks or so. So I'm um, very, very useful and good way to use some space. So yeah, I got some K wigglers, some slick lures in one box and then some down south lures um, in the other box. So that's pretty much everything. All right guys, so that's it for the rigging video. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Hopefully it wasn't too short. Um, overall, I really, really like my skiff. I've like rigged it out for my style of fishing and the way I fish. So everybody's is going to be different. You know, everyone's going to have their own spin on things. So a few things that I probably will add in the future. Um, only a couple. Tiller extension for sure. I need to get a tiller extension. Getting reaching back is getting old. Um, also, maybe a three gallon um, gas tank. That'll really increase our range i'll probably never even really go that far but it'll be nice not having to um like refuel and refuel the internal tank so having an external tank will be uh really really nice and the last thing i can think of that i want to add is maybe some marine mat um kind of make the skiff look a little clean um yeah it'd it look nice um be better on my feet and butt um, I don't think I want to add a seat, honestly. Um, I, I like the way it is. And yeah, but that's just, that's just my opinion. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, if y'all have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I will reply to all the comments. And yeah, guys, so that's it for this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.